Winter is finally here, which means it's holiday season. Cinnamon is hands down one of the most loved and popular holiday scents. The warm, spicy aroma creates such a cozy and delightful feel, and it's so versatile. It is definitely one of my most fun and favorite spices. It comes in many different varieties, most commonly powdered or in cinnamon sticks. It is used in so many different meals and beverages, like on pancakes or coffee, desserts, Indian dishes, and as a garnish as well. I just love the smell of cinnamon in my house. And not only does cinnamon make everything delicious, it has countless health benefits and uses too. Cinnamon, also known in Latin as Cinnamomum zelanicum, is part of the Laurelaceae family. It has a very interesting history. Cinnamon's medicinal properties are rooted to as early as 2700 BC in Chinese literature and also widely used in Ayurvedic medicine in India. In Europe, cinnamon was regarded as a rare and precious spice. In traditional Chinese medicine, cinnamon is one of the most popular used warming herbs to help with circulation and digestion. If used in small amounts in tea, it may treat bloody uterine fibroids, relieve nausea associated with pregnancy, and reduce hemorrhages following delivery. Cinnamon has antifungal, bactericidal, and antiviral properties. Cinnamon is also a circulatory tonic, styptic, carminative, astringent, and rubefacient. One notable benefit is that cinnamon has blood glucose lowering activity, which is especially beneficial for people with type 2 diabetes mellitus. Researchers from Pakistan found that people with type 2 diabetes who took cinnamon had blood glucose levels lower than those who didn't take cinnamon at all. Another study investigated whether cinnamon bark extract has the potential to improve memory, and what they found was that cinnamon was not only useful on memory performances, but also on lipid peroxidation levels, which were problematic in diabetic patients. A third study found that soluble polysaccharides of Cinnamomum xylanicum can be an effective antioxidant. The components in cinnamon are eugenol, tannin, cinnamic aldehyde, and mannitol, which gives cinnamon sweet flavor. Cinnamon also has insecticides like cinzalolin and cinzalanol. This can be useful for your plants as bug repellent. To use cinnamon sticks and obtain its most active constituents, grind up a small amount just before using. Cinnamon sticks can also be steeped in tea with cardamom and ginger for stimulating and warming digestive tonic. A great trick for the winter is to sprinkle ground cinnamon into socks to help the feet and toes warm. The actual tree from which the cinnamon is produced grows to a height of 20 to 30 feet tall and has deeply veined ovate leaves that are dark green beneath the leaf. The bark is reddish brown and smooth. Cinnamon is gathered from the dried inner bark of the branches of a small tropical evergreen tree in the laurel family. The bark is then peeled off and as the pieces are dried, they curl up into quills. These are the common cinnamon sticks that are used in herb teas and for baking. Finally, when administering cinnamon, use a dose of 10 to 60 drops from a tincture or a 500 milligram powder every three to four hours. You can even apply powdered cinnamon liberally to wounds to stop bleeding. Be sure to use caution though because cinnamon can cause reddening of the tissue when used topically in sensitive patients, and cinnamon essential oil is extremely hot, so beware. Do not use this on sensitive areas of the skin. Well, that's it for cinnamon. Hope you learned a thing or two about its many benefits and uses. Thanks for watching!